Hello and welcome to Lore of the Cards, the series that looks to find the lore hidden in your Hearthstone deck. Since the new hero Kadga is now available, I thought people may be interested in a short little episode about him, outlining a few little lore facts about the hero. If you hear the occasional bout of weeping during this episode, it's simply because I don't have an iOS device. I want to help the pandas, but only if I get something in return for my money. Kadga is a member of the Kirin Tor, the ruling class of the mage city-state Dalaran. At the age of 17, he was sent by the Kirin Tor to study under Medivh, the last guardian. Initially sent to reveal the guardian's secrets, a mission Medivh made it obvious to Kadga that he knew about, the two mages became close. It was Kadga that discovered it was Medivh, under the influence of Sargaris, leader of the Burning Legion, who summoned the bloodthirsty orcs to Azeroth. With a heavy heart, Kadga and Medivh's childhood friend, Anduin Lothar, ended the Guardian's life. Before he died, however, Medivh had sucked the life energy from Kadga's body, changing him into a frail old man. Kadga's age has jumped all over the place, from young man in Warcraft 2, to old in WoW's Burning Crusade expansion, and finally settling on middle age for the Warlords of Draenor expansion. During the second war between orcs and humans, after the orcs had suffered a crushing defeat, Kadga destroyed the dark portal the orcs had emerged from, but a small rift was left behind. Netherguard Keep was constructed to keep an eye out for if the orcs attacked again. They did, and after being chased back through their portal, Kadga, along with other notable heroes such as Illyria Windrunner, followed to put an end to them once and for all. Kadga won decisive victories with the Alliance, but was unable to prevent the Orcs from tearing their own planet apart. This cataclysmic event would have carried over into Azeroth too, if Kadga had not been able to close the portal on the Draenor side, Draenor being the Orcs' homeworld. In Azeroth, many thought the heroes had been destroyed with Draenor, erecting statues of them within Stormwind. Kadga had survived with many others, and was now stranded on the Broken World. In the newly named Outland, Kaga and his followers met with the Holy Naru, dedicating themselves to thwarting the plans of the malevolent Burning Legion on the world. The Legion seek to eradicate the universe as we know it. During the Burning Crusade expansion, heroes of the Alliance and Horde met with Kaga, who emphasised the need for the Alliance and Horde to work together to defeat the Legion. Kadga would later return to Azeroth and become a member of the Council of Six, the ruling council of the Kirin Tor, first serving under Ronin and after his tragic death, Jaina Proudmoore. The Kirin Tor, who under Ronin were neutral, switched their allegiance to the Alliance. This appeared not to sit well with Kadga, as in the Warlords of Draenor expansion, he took a position of neutrality, aiding Alliance and Horde. The Draenor in Warlords is an alternate reality, where the universe's most powerful and evil mortal warlock resides, Gul'dan, dead in our reality. Kadga aided heroes against the Orcs of Draenor, helping them obtain a legendary ring and focused most of his energies on defeating Gul'dan. On Draenor, Kadga could be seen wielding his old mentor's staff, Atiesh, and possessing the power to transform into a crow, an ability Medivh also possessed. Gul'dan was defeated, but escaped to our reality, where he has been able to usher the Legion once again into the world of Azeroth. Now seemingly leading the Kirin Tor, Dalaran floating above the Broken Isle, Kadga will once again seek to thwart his nemesis and prevent the Legion's invasion from consuming Azeroth. So, there you have it, some very quick facts about Kadga. I'll probably do a full episode further down the line, but with Old Gods coming out soon, I want to be focusing on that for upcoming episodes. Of course, if you want to see in-depth Kadga lore now, you can find it on Noble's channel. If you like the art used, all the artists I could find are in the description below. I really hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, like, subscribe, and share it around. That'd just be magic. <laughs> See what I did there? Of course you could drain away the channel's life energy by hitting the dislike button, but don't worry, I'll just assume you're possessed. If you want to keep up to date with our stuff, follow us on Twitter, at The6Gamers, and like us on Facebook, forward slash The6Gamers UK. Until next time, happy hearthstoning. <laughs>